this video, we will show common faults on the touchpad and walk you through how to fix them. The most common faults are VFD faults, optic faults, and temperature faults. This video will cover optic and temperature faults, and then we will cover VFD faults and troubleshooting in more detail separately. First, we'll cover clearing an optics fault. Malik recommends cleaning your optics a few times each month. If there's a large amount of buildup on the lens or a simple obstruction in the hood, the touchpad will show an optic fault. An optic fault will cause the hood fans to run at full speed until the fault is cleared, allowing you to continue cooking but preventing you from saving energy. The keypad will show which hood has the optic fault. So first, verify there are no obstructions in the hoods. Next, verify the optics are aligned. And you can do this by navigating to the status under the menu to the hood controllers. Select the appropriate hood controller using the next button and you'll be able to check the voltage signal displayed as actual signal versus the calibrated signal. For example, 1.3 volts versus 1.6 volts. If the touchpad displays calibrating or low signal, the hardware is working properly but may have an obstruction causing the signal to be too low. Many optic faults can be prevented through routine hood cleaning and maintenance. First, verify the cables are also connected tight on the hood controller. If your fault says emitter missing or receiver missing, it indicates a possible bad connection or failed component. Check the connector at each optic sensor for a loose plug or less commonly, corrosion on the terminal. Next, we'll cover clearing a temperature fault. Temperature sensors installed in the hood monitor the temperature of the exhaust air. The Intel hood system can be programmed to turn on and off automatically by the hood temperature. Signs of a temperature fault include fans running at 100% and the touchpad stating that a temp fault is occurring. Therefore, it is important to understand that a temperature fault could turn your system on and off at inappropriate times. In most cases, the fault will simply cause the fan to run 100%, which will allow you to continue cooking but prevents you from saving energy. If you experience a temp fault, first, make sure that the sensors are clean. It is not always necessary unless it has a large amounts of grease or buildup. Next, check the connections that go from the temperature probe to the controllers. And also verify the number of temp sensors matches the number of temp sensors programmed. Under the menu, hit status and go to the hood controllers and hit enter. If a temperature sensor is not connected properly or does not work, then it will show as missing. You should also check for any damaged components. And then lastly, on the hood controller, there are different ports that can be used to connect the cables for temperature sensors. Swapping those may help to get rid of the fault. And if the fault persists, please contact Malink Technical Support.